guys user 7 here and today i'm back with another review and today i will be reviewing the hexa roms for the oneplus 2 so first of all about the rom it is a alpha build so don't expect it to be completely stable so the hexa project is a recently started project with the lineage based on lineage and it's based on lineage os version of that was released on 2nd of march you can see it right here on the lineage version 2017 third and second then the hexa rom version is an alpha 4 so again it's an alpha based rom so flash it if you're confident enough about the rom and then we have the cpu architecture and also the ota service which is not yet available so now let's get into the rom it's an android 711 based rom and then we have the device maintainer i'll show you the contributors of lineage and also the hexa device maintainers is mzo is the one plus two device maintainer and if i am not wrong you know there's even the zero nature wrong which is based on lineage which i have reviewed before is also maintained by mzo that's what i remember now let's get into the ui and also the network stability of the rom now the ui is quite stable no random reboots nothing of that sort and not network drops now everything is working fine wi-fi bluetooth hotspot and also 4g with lte i mean VOLTE. that is hd voice calling everything is functioning quite well then i haven't faced any issues yet and also the UI is quite smooth switching between the apps and also the RAM management is fantastic I always have about 2 to 2.5 gigs of RAM free after flashing the um, Pico package of G apps and actually I am using a few apps like YouTube Twitter, Telegram Instagram and uh, you know that's all now regarding my usage the ui is quite smooth the phone is handling everything very well and i do get a decent ram management too so no issues there now talking about the pre-installed apps we have the audio fx the science and mode equalizer you know that if you can see right there we have a few transition problems i don't know why you know when it move from one settings to the other we find a small problem with the transitions you know no issues there and then we have the jello which is the stock browser then we have the camera you know it's similar to most of the other rooms everything is working quite well and we have 4k video recording and also uh, stabilization available for resolutions lower than 1080p then we have the stock file manager and also the gallery app then the sinus mode 11 as the music player we also have omni switch and also slim reasons pre-installed and it comes with a subscribe and theme engine now actually i have tried about two themes in the substratum and uh, you know the or screen overlays and applying of the theme are not always success you know sometimes i get failure messages and errors and maybe after reboot it's okay and also this rom is not compatible with super so so don't try flashing that i have tried once and uh, it is in a boot loop maybe in the next builds it will be compatible so now we are stuck with the privacy guard which gives the super user access you can find in the developer options and root access is pre-installed you don't have to flash anything and managing root access is the privacy guard other than that nothing much about the ui now secondly i'll be going into the battery backup now regarding battery this rom is not that comparable to the other custom roms 
Oh, sorry there. Running battery life. Now, I have been using this ROM for two days. And according to my experience, the battery backup is just okay. You can, you can manage three hours on LTE and maybe even a three and a half to four hours if you're using Wi Fi off screen on time. That's what I'm talking about. And also the phone idle time. According to my usage, it was about just a day. No, I didn't manage a full day. It was about 22 to 23 hours. That's all. From a full charge to a 5%. But the app optimizations are quite good. You know, we have all the lineage based app optimizations available where you can boost the battery with the extreme power save and also the profile. You can manage that. And automatic optimization is working quite good. I don't have the Google Play services or the Google app jumping high in order to the most power hungry apps. I don't have any of those issues, but still something is sucking the battery out. I don't know what's there. And the screen on time is just about 3 hours. And if you compare it to the Xenon HD, which is another lineage based ROM, you know, there I can manage a 5 hours, but here I just get a 3. You know maybe it's just an alpha build and maybe in the next updates everything will be okay now let's go into the customization section we have the hexa customizations which is fantastic you have entire status bar customizations like quick pull down all those things natural traffic indicators and breathing notifications then quick settings we have the advanced data style and also the quick settings ui customization and quick settings header then we have the navigation bar, you can enable it or disable it, which I prefer. Now into the reasons, you can use slim reasons or omni reasons, that's how you wish. Also the clear all button, all those things. Now we have the anima animations, where you can almost change all animations to what you wish. You have quite a few of them available. Then we have the lock screen customizations and also a few gesture anywhere. Then app circle bar. You also have the Y controls in this app in this row. So that's quite good for all those who need or for all those who generally use all those. You know, I stick with these hardware navigation bars. So maybe I don't use them and they don't make much a difference for me but maybe for others who love these extra customizations you know it's quite a bonus now i'll be going into the overall bugs if i have faced any in this room so during my usage i never faced any such bugs other than the heating issue and also a few issues with the fingerprint sensor you know the sensor was not responding a few times and also while i keep it in the pocket it was just a bit extra sensitive it was going on vibrating and also the lack of pocket mode or anything like that included within the room we can have a bad time if you keep this phone in your pocket for long periods you know it just gets heated up for apparently no reason just like the auction noise but again it's just an alpha build and maybe in the future builds the ROM will be much more stable and you know if you have seen my previous reviews the Xeno HD ROM is the boss when we look the battery backup you know it gives about a five hours of screen on time and it's again a lineage based custom ROM and even the hexa ROMs can reach that potential to give about 5 hours of SOT. Maybe in the first stable releases, we'll get a much better ROM and battery life. Now, that's all about the review of this ROM. Hope you all liked it. And I'll be doing a few more reviews about a few more Nougat based custom ROMs. So, if you need me to make a review about any wrong that you wish so please write in the comments below and also check out a few of my other reviews i have linked them in the, descri in the description below and also if you need me to do make any changes 
in the style in which I give my reviews also please feel free to comment so that's all thanks for watching I will see you in the next review bye